Vim is a text editor where you navigate around files with a keyboard instead of a mouse. This allows for much faster code editing and file navigation as your hands never have to leave the keyboard. So fixing a small mistake doesn't involve using the mouse just to move two characters to the side. Here's an example of coding with Vim. You can see that there are never pauses where I have to move my hands to my mouse and I am able to navigate to other files very quickly and I can fix mistakes very fast. There's also full auto completion with plugins, renaming and finding definitions just like an IDE. Now Vim without any configuration looks absolutely awful and it does take some time to learn and configure Vim. So I'd recommend using a Vim plugin and VS Code or any editor that you're already using. Once you've installed the Vim plugin, you can now begin to learn the Vim motions. Vim works by having multiple modes, the main ones being normal mode, insert mode, and command mode. In normal mode, you can navigate around files with the keyboard. The basic movements H, J, K, and L can move the cursor one character at a time. You can press I to enter insert mode, where you can type in text just like any other text editor and then press escape to go back to normal mode. In normal mode, you can type colon to enter command mode, where you can enter commands like colon W to save the file or colon Q to quit the file. There are many commands and key maps to move more efficiently, scroll through a file, delete text, move text, copy paste text, and anything else that you can think of. It can seem pretty intimidating when starting to learn Vim, but I guarantee that you will not even have to think about the key maps after a while of using Vim. If anyone is interested in getting faster at Vim, you can go check out my other video on more advanced Vim commands and configuring Vim. I'll also link a playlist with great videos about Vim and I highly recommend you watch those as well. Anyways, that is gonna be it from me. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Good luck learning Vim, and I will see you all in the next video.